So once you get the back panel off, you're going to want to work on getting these brackets off. Um, there's three screws also on the top and three on each side and two on the bottom. And that'll enable you to take the uh, front cover off. There are a couple of clamps holding the front cover off, cover on as well. I think there's uh, two on the top and one on each side and two on the bottom. Once you get the front cover loose, you can pick up the TV and uh, using two people every time you move it, this thing's pretty big. And then you can remove the front cover and set it back down on the back of the TV with the screen facing up. Then you'll want to take all of the screws out of these metal pieces. There's, uh, there's some shallow screws at each of the joints and then there's longer screws with a little bit of uh, Loctite on them and uh, there's these little black screws also. Uh, once you get those out you can just kind of gently pick these bars off and it will expose this black trim here all the way around and this black trim actually comes up by itself once you've done that you just need to lift up the side of the screen a little bit and then slide it out just being careful not to damage the screen okay and once you do that uh, your LEDs will be exposed in there this is the actual LED bar right here. And there are little connectors that you just gotta pop off on each corner, on all of them. So I went ahead, you can, uh, this has got some tape on it. You can just move this out of the way once you disconnect those. Those little connectors there, they're tiny. Let's see if we can get a better shot. And they're super small and then uh, the LED bar just comes out pretty simply once you remove the there's like three screws on each one so the side strips they have uh, 30 LEDs on each bar and then they have this break in the middle and then another 30 LEDs and the one on the top actually has uh, two of these little uh, circuit board strips with uh, 49 LEDs on them each and I'm not sure about the bottom because I haven't taken it apart but uh, this is where the problem was right here this number one LED was burnt out and also the number two LED which is the one to the right of it so uh, we made a, a bridge across there against the traces and if you can see I was about to make another bridge there and I scraped off the white insulation and there's actually two pieces on the top. There's two different traces so I don't know if you can see that or not but there's a uh, the trace goes around the screw, goes down around the screw and I just scraped off the part of the insulation and exposed that trace there and just jumpered it straight over on the bottom so it made contact. But uh, there's your uh, part numbers and everything. Okay, so I've uh, tested this circuit to make sure that it works with a diode uh, tester. Uh, it seems to be good. Um, we're looking at uh, about 2.46 volts for this one LED. I've checked a couple of them. I've gotten uh, between 2.44 and 2.48. So that's about the voltage needed to power each LED.